In this video, we're going to learn a little bit about the importance for SEO of the alt image tags. Uh, what an alt image tag is, is when you have a picture of something on your store, there's also a text description that goes with it for people that are short of sight. So um, if they hover over uh, the image on Google, uh, you'll see a text description of what that image is. So an upshot of that is the ability for Google to also display images. As you can see here, uh, I've Googled the term Rosa Genera Shorts, which are a best-selling item on my store. You can see that uh, Katie's Boutique has come up as the number one term for that, which is perfect because that's my store. But you can also see down below it, there's a, a load of images come up. And, People often see something that they like and they'll click on it. So rather than click the term, they'll go, oh, these are the ones, and they'll click on that particular image. Now that's great for SEO because obviously that image comes from your store and that will link through to the product that, that is on your store. So you're also getting uh, traffic driven to you from the images themselves. But in order for that to happen, Google has to know what the image is and if you put a poor description of that image that doesn't match the search term, then Google doesn't know what it is and it won't display it. So just to give you an example, if I hover over these images, image number one comes from Katie's Boutique, image number two comes from Katie's Boutique, image number three comes from Katie's Boutique, image number four doesn't. And I think there's one other one here that comes from my store. People tend to click on the first one they see. So for these shorts, they're going to click on these ones as opposed to ones that are back here. This is the first one they see. Bigger image, if you see that. So it's cropped uh, and it's right at the front. So people are more likely to click on this than they will this, assuming I don't catch them with this. So how do we do that? How do we get the images to come up as well? Other people are not very good at that, particularly with Shopify. They do not correctly optimize the old image tags. They just put any old stuff in there or they use an app or something to, to generate those thinking it's it's great, it's, it's done the job for them. So what we need to put in with the image is as close to the search term as we can. Not exactly because we want the image to display with other search terms as well. So we're going to head on over to SEMrush and we're going to put in the term black shorts it's probably worth saying as well that the rule of thumb with images is to say what you see. So describe exactly what you see. If you see a woman wearing a pair of black lace shorts, that would be the old image tag, woman wearing a pair of black lace shorts. Uh, don't put in what it isn't because it will not display for, for the results that you want. Always say what it is, be as descriptive as you can as to what the item actually is. So I've put in black shorts here. I've selected the United Kingdom as uh, the country that we're after. If you target the US, you'll get very different results. Uh, and if you notice down here, black shorts comes up with short hairstyles for black women, short haircuts for black women, short black hairstyles. It's not what we want, but in the United Kingdom, it's given us the right answers. That's a cultural difference of, of around the globe, how people ask for things, how they search the things, how they describe things. So you should always make sure you have one eye to that cultural difference and you're putting in the correct terms for the country or the locality that, that you're interested in targeting. So black shorts has given us black denim shorts, well, our shorts aren't denim, they're not high-waisted, it's not a short black dress. But you can see black shorts is worth 6,600 hits a month. Black shorts women's is worth 2,900, but shorts for women is worth 18,100, and women's shorts is worth 8,100. So the optimum keyword there would be black shorts at 6'6", and shorts for women at 18.1. So black shorts for women covers both of those terms. Black shorts for women. It has shorts for women in it and black shorts. So in theory, 
that's a maximum of what 25,000 hits a month we could go for there. So going back to our product, the optimum name to put in here is alt image tags and in this case would be black shorts for women and given the search term Rosa Genera the optimum search term because we're interested in catching people who are searching for that particular product and also interested in the generic description of that product would be Rosa Genera black shorts for women that would be the optimum SEO description for that particular product uh, and you can see that's very different than what most people will put they'll, they'll put alt uh, the alt tags will be from an app that will be generated from the product description that could say anything could say like sexy shorts 1999 in stock now or something that's absolutely not what you want for the alt image tag you want to describe what it is so Rosa Genera black shorts for women would be the optimum tag for this and then if you are going to use an app you could put a hyphen and then the brand name which would be Rosa if you wanted to do that and then a hyphen and then the store name which would be Katie's Boutique if you wanted to do that but you can see that Google picks up the URL from here anyway uh, and if you click on it it will take you there you go, Rosa Genera Black Shorts by Rosa in stock, Katie's Boutique, and that should take us over to that product. So that's a good way of driving traffic to your store, is to get the alt tags set properly, uh, but make sure you use a keyword research tool like SEMrush in order to get the optimum uh, wording for that. Also be aware that Google places importance on the order of things. You can see here Rosa Genera Shorts is uh, in bold and the reason for that is because the keyword we've put in here is Rosa Genera Shorts so it's highlighting that. It's at the front, right at the front. Rosa Genera Black Shorts here, Rosa Genera Shorts here, Rosa Genera Shorts here. So put it at the front and that will give you more prominence than people who have the same keywords but they're sprinkled up. So down here you've got Genera, Rosa, Shorts, um, by the Rosa, Genera, Short. So we're getting more prominence at the top here because our results are more relevant. And the reason they're more relevant is because the search term is loaded towards the front of what we're searching for. So with a product description, load those terms at the front if humanly possible. Um, if you can't put them in wherever you can, but if you can, the optimum here would be, uh, I think it was Rosa Black Shorts for Women hyphen Rosa hyphen Katie's Boutique. And that will get your images indexed and your images to appear, uh, start appearing for Google search terms and then traffic come into your store. One thing to consider as well is that if your product is very visual, such as lingerie, people like to look at it. They want to see the product. A house brick. Not so much. Everyone knows what a brick is. Nobody cares. Lingerie, people want to see it and they want to see the product. So these uh, images are very important for SEO and very important for traffic because people will click on them because they can see the image and they can choose the one they want. So it's really important to get the alt image tags correct, get these images being indexed by Google and start driving more targeted traffic to your store that will convert more highly for you.